Hi guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you my top 10 reasons why you should build your own PC versus building a pre-built one. Now at number 10 we have the fact that it's cheaper to build your own, and to be honest, no one has an infinite amount of cash to spend. And typically if you're going to buy a pre-built one, um, yeah, you're going to be typically spending more for the same amount of performance. Now, spending more money is always bad, and to be honest, buying your own components and building your own PC is always going to save you some cash. And with that saved cash, you know, you can have it spend it on a new shiny keyboard and mouse, or even go out with the money saved to get another hard drive or better graphics card for more frames per second in games, which to be honest is always a good thing, especially in a gaming system. Now moving down to number 9, you gain lots of experience with hardware and actually building PCs. Experience is always valuable, and if you do decide to build your own PC, um, it's really good that, you know, once you build it, it boots up and uh, yeah, you kind of feel proud um, that you've actually you know, accomplished something. As well as this, you know, you do get the experience with PCs, so if, if you ever go around to a friend and they want to upgrade or kind of, you know, instead of having some hardware problems, you can you know, you can kind of have a look. And um, yeah, chances are you, you can probably spot a loose cable or something and you'll be able to fix that, which is always nice. And number eight, we have the fact that you can actually work on great cable management, and to be honest, have no sloppy job done by a technician that really doesn't care about your PC's airflow. Being able to work on your own cable management is great and allows you to get better airflow and make your PC look better inside, especially if it has a side window which you can look inside of. At number 7 we have the ease of upgrade, and in the future if you want to upgrade your PC's graphic card, say your processor, hard drive, or even RAM, you can actually do this with ease, and um, yeah, you actually know where everything is if you've actually built your own PC yourself, and yeah, you can be kind of familiar where everything goes. Moving down to number 6, when you build your own PC you can actually have the Windows disk, you know, the actual physical disk and also the product key. This is great if you need to uh, you know, kind of reinstall your OS if it breaks or goes a bit dodgy. And um, yeah, it's always good to have that on hand, so to actually have your Windows disk and also your product key, and that is something that you'll have if you do actually build your own system. Most manufacturers like Asus, Packard, Bell, these kind of companies do not include a Windows disk, and yeah, they'll actually expect you to pay them around £70 to send your PC in, then fix it, uh, just using um, an image uh, of, of the actual uh, OS, and then um, yeah, not to mention it's actually going to you know be with them for about two weeks, so... You're gonna pay money and then you're not gonna have your PC for a few weeks, which kind of sucks. So, um, yeah, it's really good, number six. So, yeah, having your own Windows disk and put a key is always great. At number five, you can get a miles better power supply. That's right, not a crappy 250 watt unbranded one waiting to set your house on fire. Um, yeah, an actual proper power supply. So, a good thing with building your own PC is that you can choose a power supply, and um, yeah, typically a good one would buy by you know, companies like Corsair or Seasonic. You know, we've all seen pictures on Google of bent out power supplies, and um, yeah, don't make, make the shows. Go with a quality manufacturer like Corsair and Seasonic, as I said, and um, yeah, getting a good power supply will, you know, typically make your PC quieter and last a lot longer. At number four, you can configure your PC better for what you want it to do. For example, if you want to build an editing machine for video, hey, yeah, feel free to grab more hard drives and some more RAM. If you want a pure gaming machine, make sure you spend the bulk of your money on a graphics card. I've seen many strange configurations online, including Amazon, that have titled themselves as gaming machines. And on the internet, I've seen systems with such as you know 16 gig RAM and i7, and then just a GTX 750. These systems are not balanced, and you know to typically CPU and uh, RAM heavy, which aren't really that good for gaming and um, yeah, if anything, the, most systems I see on Amazon are all tuned towards video editing and not gaming, uh, but it'll be, uh, you know, kind of titled a gaming PC, pure stupidity and uh, yeah, another good thing with building your own PC is that you choose the parts and um, you, you, you prioritize, you'll kind of take priority um, in terms of choosing your parts to do, you know, kind of certain things. So, so they just said, we're gaming, we had a good graphic card and that'll be the way to go. Now moving closer to number one, we have point number three. At number three, it's the fact that you can, um, you know, actually repair your PC if it goes wrong. So if something goes wrong, you can kind of fix it. So with all the manuals to reference and the fact you know where all of your components are and what to do, you can easily kind of troubleshoot and, um, yeah, whiz out and buy a new replacement part if anything goes wrong. And, yeah, if anything kind of dies, you'll probably know what it is. Um, and, yeah, you can kind of take it out, buy a new one, and it won't cost you a lot of money. Typically, sending a PC to a repair shop is going to cost you quite a lot, to be honest. And, uh, you yeah, know, building your own PC, you're going to know what's going to go wrong. So, um, yeah, that'll be all good. 
Now at number two, we have the fact that you can, you know, actually have the ability to choose from a wide variety of parts and, you know, quality components and manufacturers that you actually trust. Say goodbye to Shidi Toshiba Hadras and XFX motherboards. To be honest, I don't think XFX make motherboards anymore, but yeah, you can choose your components uh, of the best quality and, um, yeah, choose components that you believe perform well and they're going to last a long time in terms of your investment. So, yeah, your investment's going to be a PC. So, yeah, number two is to choose components that you um, trust and, yeah, from manufacturers that you, you know, actually believe leave it. Finally, we have the best reason why you should think you should build a gaming PC. This is that you don't get uh, any annoying bulletware that slows down your PC. Many manufacturers, um, and I'll mention these two again, Packard, Bell, Acer, and all kind of companies like that, they include uh, loads of bloatware and actually think it's acceptable to install shit, you know, 30 day trials of Norden and install thousands of tools bars and all, and all that kind of bloatware. In reality, it just degrades your PC's performance and in games and when editing um with all all these crappy programs running in the background you know sucking up ram um it, it just degrades your pc's performance and personally when i build my own pc uh, you know i do like to just have you know paint and a web pad that's all and i want to install the software that i actually use and that's exactly what i'll do and that to be honest is where is the actual way it should be Anyhow guys, thank you for watching, let me know your thoughts on building your own PC versus buying a pre-built one. And at the end of the day, building a PC is not that hard and if anything, it is very easy. After all, I have lots of tutorials and how-to guides on how to kind of build a PC. You can find one on the screen right now, so feel free to give that a click and uh, yeah, there'll be no excuse for buying um, a pre-built one at all. So no, no excuse for buying a pre-built one and yeah, you should be able to build your, your own PC incredibly easily. Anyway guys, as I was saying, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.